XRP $10,000, guys. Now, is this truly possible from Jack the Rippler? This will happen after Ripple wins the SEC case, $10,000 plus per XRP. Now, the only way I could really see XRP reaching $10,000 is not by Ripple winning the SEC case. It's by... It's going to be terrible to say this, guys, but it is what it is because at least we are in the know if this does ha uh, take place, right? That the world needs to literally go uh, go on its knees, collapse, right? Implode. That's the only way we could really see XRP being at a at five digits, I'm guessing, right? So, which means that's really terrible for everyone else while it's very good for us, right? Very positive for our investment portfolio. Now, it does seem like the world is literally about to collapse, folks. From Kim.com, you are witnessing the accelerated fall of an empire. This year, expect major escalation with Russia and China for the driving global de-dollarization. When the United States can no longer fund its debt with print, uh, money printing, it will collapse under the weight of its current debt. It's happening as we speak. Wow! Guys, is it happening this year, right? That's the key. It's all by what, guys? By design to bring on this new system. Oh, and, and another thing I wanted to state about XRP being at five digits plus or whatnot is it needs to play a critical role in that new system, right? To become the heart of it, basically, right? To go after all the money, to move around all the money. Moving value 24-7, guys, right? So we'll see because, remember, the United States will not give up their status, right, of the reserve currency. Before that happens, there's going to be a, a literal global war. De-dollarization in action, Saudi finance minister. Saudi open to settling trade in other currencies. Uh-oh, right? But why are they pushing this narrative, folks, right? We have to understand why this is all happening at the, at the the um, in the first place. World's largest oil exporter, which maintained the United States dollar for decades in oil trade, is seeking to strengthen its relations with crucial trade partners including china right channels china is huge guys because they have been pushing these cbdc's the over there there's a lot of things that the west doesn't have right it's all it's it's, it's way more controlled there than here so but why but why are they open to settling trade in other currencies i'm pretty sure all these people want is what guys gold right they love gold and they do want gold because where is the system heading towards gold right judy shelton stated we'll be heading back to the future in a cryptocurrency type of way french historian stated this basically quote if the russian economy offers long-term resistance to sanctions bleeds the European economy white and survives or well and survives with Chinese support United States monetary control of the world will collapse and and with it the United States ability to finance its mammoth trade deficit United States monetary control of world will collapse due to Ukraine war wow so a lot of people are talking about a collapse is imminent folks right um look at this World War Three has already started between U.S. Russia, U.S. and Russia and China, hmm. or U.S. and Russia slash China. Wow, guys, right? This is fascinating. I don't believe a WW three will take place. So the timeline is clear. We actually talked about this before. What I believe is this: um, the collapse is imminent, right? America is going to collapse on itself, which which obviously will domino have a domino effect throughout the world. Then, what's going to happen if uh, is a new system arrives. After that, peace is here, right? The world will be in peace. After some time, then possibly WW3 starts because the prophecies need to be fulfilled, guys, right? I don't know. Something seems very strange to say the least. Blinken, peace with Russia is unacceptable. We just got confirmed. We are determined to make sure that Ukraine has what it needs to succeed on the battlefield, as we said, the, the fastest way to bring this war to a just and durable end, to get to 
diplomacy to get to a negotiation is to give Ukraine a strong hand on the battlefield. That's exactly what we're doing. Last thing I'll say, just because I have the opportunity to address this, there had been um, uh, a narrative that the Russians were trying to push uh, for many weeks and many months that they're interested in diplomacy, uh, Ukraine and, and we are not. That, of course, is entirely false, but I think you only have to look uh, at Putin's own words in a recent conversation with uh, President Erdogan of Turkey, in which he says, unless and until Ukraine um, accepts the new territorial realities, as he put it, there's nothing to negotiate. In other words, unless and until Ukraine acknowledges and accepts the fact that territory that Russia has seized by force, it's not getting back, uh, there's nothing to negotiate. That, of course, is in and of itself a non-starter. We're now in, uh, in winter. Uh, there continue to, continues to be ferocious fighting, particularly along the, uh, the Eastern Front. Um, I anticipate that uh, that will unfortunately go on for, for some time. Uh, but we are determined together, as well as with, uh, with many others, to make sure, as I said, the Ukrainians have what they need to um, recapture, uh, regain uh, what, uh, uh, what they've lost and to deal with the, uh, the Russian aggression. Uh, so that hasn't, uh, that hasn't changed. Guys, the narratives will not stop one bit. We got confirmed that we were right all this time. By the way, he stated that this will go on for some time. Peace with, peace with Russia is unacceptable, guys. Why? Because this, this, this Russian war with Ukraine and whatnot is a mechanism, guys, to basically print as much as they can, send it over there, right? There's a lot of laundering uh, taking place, a lot of siphoning of money, guys, as well. There's a lot of things happening that the public does not see, right? A major thing is, we say it, I actually did states, guys, I do not see this ending, right? This ending right here, what's happening right now, will not end until we see the collapse take place. Everything, every event we have been seeing, every, every major event especially, it's because it serves a purpose, right? To fulfill whatever they want to fulfill. As in, this will this has accelerated what the digital era actually, if you think about it very um, deeply, guys, as well as what the C thing. It, it's all about that new system, to say the least. But I do believe when the collapse takes place and it's, and it's all done and over with, is when peace will truly emerge. But after, possibly WW3 takes place for another reason, guys, as what, um, it's going to be a, a war of religion, right? If I'm not mistaken. Now, unusual wills of Sudal the United States is planning to announce another Ukraine aid package Friday. Uh-oh, uh-oh, there we go. Which Another confirmation on top of confirmations on top of confirmations. This is a military package, if I'm not mistaken, guys. Um, but it's still another aid, right? Aid package to send over there. It, it's always about this, guys. Put it on the tab. What's another $10 billion plus? Ignoring all our issues here in America is definitely the better option, right? Include money as well, of course, because the system cannot stop printing. They cannot stop printing. Why? Because if, it, if they did, guys, the system would collapse today, right? Everyone is dependent on America, the United States. I, I could basically guarantee not financial advice that when the United States collapses, when this um, debt implosion takes place, right, every other country and nation will be in panic as well, right? Because everything is built on another thing, guys. It's all what? It's all interconnected like a spider web. How I see it. And not only that, this is why you should you should watch the full video. If you guys can like and share, I'll really appreciate it because Breaking news, the Central Bank of Iran is reportedly cooperating with the Russian government to jointly issue a new stablecoin backed by gold. <gasps> uh -huh, we just got confirmed again. How many confirmations? Stop it. Oh my. I know it gets even crazier because don't skip guys because listen to this, right? So basically they're working to create a token of the Persian Gulf um, region, Gulf uh, region. And, and what happens here is that would serve as a payment method in foreign trade, right? Look at this, stablecoin backed by gold. Judy Shelton, we're heading back to the future in a cryptocurrency type of way. Wow, and back and back then, the system was backed by gold, guys, right? Now, if you go down here as well, and this is why they want gold as much as they can, guys. It, it's, even, it's, it's even crazier because Iran and Russia are among the countries that banned the residents from using cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and stablecoins like Tether, USDT for payments. 
At the same time, Iran and Russia have been actively working to adopt crypto as a tool of foreign trade. <gasps> wow. I'm done, guys. I'm actually mind blown right here. So, 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 Bitcoin was a bait. Bitcoin was a lure tactic to get people aware of this new currency, right? This new digital era while they block or quote unquote ban it over there they bring in their own coins and whatnot right <sighs> crazy guys bitcoin is involved in wash trading using tether right as a digital printer to artificially pump the price to give an illusion of perceived value to attract investors essentially a pump and dump scheme and that's why they hate bitcoin right there are multiple um, different narratives attacking Bitcoin and USDT, right? How come they only banned, look at this, Bitcoin and USDT, but any other coin or so? I don't think so, guys. But they s specifically stated these two, Bitcoin and USDT. Why? Because they're both interconnected. They are, when they when one collapses, the other collapses at the same time, right? That's how they're, they are tethered together, guys. They are linked together. I'll be very careful, folks. When governments go full digital, XRP and XLM, there will be no competition, right? At Ripple CEO is optimistic the uh, crypto firm will get ruling on XRP soon slams embarrassing SEC. Very easy and very fascinating, guys. It's so simple. How don't people see? At the same time, look if look look here from Peter Thiel. The outside the outside game preached the collapse of the dollar versus the inside game cash out to, to dollars. Turns out there's a lot a lot of suckers who still think this isn't all a com this isn't all a completely transparent uh, grift as we see right here in April 2022 about the same time that founders fund sold out most of its cryptocurrency holdings right they were selling while, while everyone else was buying Teal said he was optimistic about the future of Bitcoin wow so that he stated one thing while he was doing another thing right look look at what we state don't look at what we do wow he, he told a cryptocurrency conference in Miami that we are at the end of fiat of the fiat money regime and suggested its price which was then trading about 44k could increase by a factor of 100 I'm done guys wow I thought Peter nobody guys they're all they're all on the same team right you, you can't it's crazy while the collapse is imminent guys right the United States the USD will not go anywhere right there will be a level playing field. This everything we have been seeing is to push this right here from Kim.com. Gold, right? Gold, silver, XRP, and XLM. The new monetary system that's imminent. Not financial advice. But anyways, that's all for guys. Ladies and ladies, see ya.